uh, we have one uh, open Excel file and two open Power BI desktop file. Uh, our aim is to connect to this Power BI desktop file, Power BI pivot data, and not uh, to this one. Uh, for that, we uh, prepared one button, a new pivot. When I click on it, a new pivot table will be uh, created that is connected to this Power BI desktop uh, file. Uh, and we can use these uh, fields to create pivot table uh, itself. Now, if we close this uh, Power BI pivot data file, our uh, pivot table will not work anymore. So if we try this, uh, we are going to get some messages, some errors, and uh, something. So we have to open our uh, Power BI uh, desktop file. Now that our Power BI desktop file is open, we still uh, cannot uh, connect uh, to it directly. Our pivot table will not work because each time Power BI desktop file is open, it has different credentials. So we have to use this button to reconnect. We are going to reconnect ourselves and now our pivot table is uh, live again. Now how, how to create this uh, functionality? Uh, for that we are using uh, these uh, two top procedure, procedures. Uh, this procedure will uh, read uh, credentials of our uh, Power BI desktop file and then it will connect us uh, to uh, uh, that file and it will create a pivot table. Uh, this uh, reconnect procedure will again uh, read uh, credentials of our Power BI desktop file and then uh, it will use uh, those credentials to update uh, our already existing connection with a new port number and uh, database name. Now, here is the big question is how to uh, get credentials of Power BI desktop file. Now, each time Power BI desktop file is open, it will write its uh, credentials on this uh, location in uh, one of these uh, subfolders. So, this file has one of these subfolders with its uh, credentials. We have to find uh, which one. Uh, in, for example, in this uh, subfolder, we have uh, this uh, file which has database name. This, uh, these letters and numbers here are actually database name and this file uh, here it has a port number. And those are credentials to, for our uh, database. Uh, in order to uh, read them we are using uh, this uh, function. This function will go to that uh, location it will read all uh, subfolders, all their names, and then it will loop through uh, those uh, subfolders. And by using these uh, two helper functions, it will uh, read port number and database name. Now, some of these subfolders are not uh, valid. They're not valid because they refer to already closed Power BI desktop files. We are going to label them with these um, strings, and we are going to uh, make another um, array which will have uh, only uh, valid uh, credentials and not credentials of, of those already uh, uh, closed um, Power BI desktop files. Now we know that they are already closed because they usually don't have a database name. They only have port number written. Those uh, subfolders are not uh, complete. Now that we have all our credentials, we are going to uh, loop through uh, them and we are going to use this function to read uh, this uh, string. Now this uh, table is prepared in advance in, in each of our Power BI desktop files. Uh, we have a table like this and this table has a cell that uh, contains name of a file. So we have uh, that in this uh, Power BI desktop file and also in uh, this other Power BI desktop file, we have a name of, uh, of that file. So we are going to read uh, those names. For that we are using uh, this uh, function. This function will create a connection string uh, by using provided uh, credentials. And then we are going to execute this uh, DAX query uh, to uh, read uh, this uh, string. Uh, we are going to do that for each open Power BI desktop file and when we find a Power BI desktop file that has the same uh, string as this one, uh, that will help us to identify our uh, Power BI desktop file that is uh, of, interest, uh, of interest for us. And, and then we are going to identify uh, credentials 
uh, of this part that we want to connect to. Uh, now that we have credentials, we uh, will uh, create pivot table. Uh, for that, we're using this uh, procedure. This procedure will first check using this helper function uh, whether a uh, uh, connection already exists. If it doesn't, it will create a new connection. If it does, uh, it will uh, update uh, its uh, connection string and connection uh, name. After this, we are using that uh, connection to create uh, our pivot table. Now, this other uh, top uh, procedure has uh, some already familiar steps. Uh, it will first uh, get credentials of our Power BI uh, desktop file, and then it will uh, check whether one of, uh, of existing connection has a word Power BI pivot data as a, in its name, as a first word. Uh, and that's how we actually uh, identify a uh, connection that we are using to create uh, this pivot table. And uh, when we find it, we are going to update its uh, connection string and its uh, connection name. And that, that is how we uh, reconnect.